It is what it is. What it, is. it is what Mubad is facing. It is what the father is facing. It is what his, um, his loved ones are facing. And it is sad. When we now have a country, we now have governments that are arresting people. That are arresting people for asking for justice for this guy. Now, police now can now react, can now respond when somebody is writing a petition about cyberbullying. But when he was alive, when Mubad was alive, he wrote petitions and you people swept it under the carpet. He even said when he was concluding in the petition, he said, and I quote, they said next time they see me, they are going to pie me. And you didn't do anything. And what you're doing now is to be arresting people that are asking questions. And you think your life will be normal. But when you let Nigeria turn around, turn around. going on in Nigeria needs to stop. It needs to stop. It is sad. It is disheartening. Peace. And I'll be like, what has it done? What has it done? What has it done wrong? Feeding this young boy, feeding 15 people. 15 people in the house. Inside the 15 people in the house, no one of them, after seven months, is saying justice for this guy. And in one way or the other, all the 15 people in the house. You have eaten his sweat. And all of you in the house, this guy died. You did what you did. And you, you even put his cup on that staircase. You can't even lie him down in his room. Abi, Abi, you are so pained that you cannot even lie him down in his room. And not the narrative you guys were trying to push out. Everything is being in seen. It is sad, it is what it is. It is justice for Mubad. We'll not be distracted by what is going on on this black app. We're standing strong for mobile, mobile, and we remain focused on justice for mobile. And for all of you. That you are a betrayer in this case, God sees your heart. And you you will be rewarded accordingly. Whatever you sow, you will reap. No retreat, no surrender. We keep saying justice for Mobad. 
At this point in time, I'm going to open the panel so that we just we just have a deliberation and probably we look forward to see our people getting released before the inquest and god will help us so i'm going to start and I believe the people that I have on the panel are matured. Sorry if I don't call your name. And I want us to do it like this. Please. We just unmute your mic. I will make a submission. Go ahead, Yog Daddy. Yeah, go ahead, madam. Thank you so much, Yog Daddy, for another chance to speak on justice for Mobad, Free Arifa. I salute all panelists and I salute all commenters. No doubt it's an emotional period. It's traumatic. At the same time, it's therapeutic. Therapeutic in the sense that you find some relief talking about it. Traumatic because it's a weight on your chest. Will this guy get justice? I'm going to take um, the same route I took on Oluria Beast platform a few hours ago. And I'm going to use this moment to speak to the heart and soul of all Nigerians, home and abroad. You are abroad 10, 20, 50 years. Some of you have made up your mind. You are never going back to that dysfunctional country. Remember, your family is still there, Niger. So you can never disconnect yourself from Nigeria. So what I'm going to say concerns you in the diaspora. And it concerns you a lot, those at home. And I'm going to look at three main institutions that we kill ourselves for. We become enemies of ourselves because of these institutions. We are so warped in our thinking when it comes to these institutions. And these institutions don't care about us. As far as you are concerned, you are inconsequential. Political institution, number one. Religious institutions, number two. Traditional institutions, number three. And I'm going to break it down to the best of my ability. And I'll need the help of all panelists and commenters to fill in the blanks, because I'm not gonna do this alone. It's collective, so that you can feel the pulse of the moment, in case you are disconnecting yourself from Nigeria. Come back home, I tell you. Political, ask yourself, how many governors do we have in Nigeria, 36? I can't even count how many senators we have. I can't count how many federal House of Representatives we have, not to mention those on the state level, at the state level, not to mention commissioners, councillors, and those in the judiciary. Ask yourself, how many of these people within the political climate has come out openly to say justice for Mubad? Panelist commenters, if any of those people have come out to say justice for mobile peace, put down their name. And if there is none, let me see your response. How many of the Texas governors have come out to say waiting for Mubad? Be sincere with your answer. Because maybe somebody has come out and I, and I never got to see the video. Maybe somebody somewhere, one of the governors, 36 of them, how many don't come out to say, we want no waiting kill this boy? How many? So far, I've seen like 10 comments saying on so no governor don't come out okay maybe we have senators there should be over 300 senators in nigeria in the house of senate earning millions of naira every month how many senators in niger apart from the one that visited mama mubad at leki apart from that guy how many of the senators don't come out to say waiting by this boy i want to put my weight behind justice for mubad I want to support this movement. 
How many senators, my people? Maybe one of them don't come out and oh no. Mention the name. And if there's nobody, I won't see your response. How many federal House of Rep member? How many state House of Rep member? How many people in the judiciary, counselors, don't come out to throw their weight behind this movement, behind Baba Mubad, saying we will support you to get answers. We will support you to get, you know, to know what in power your people. Mubad, no die for streets. How many? So you can see from the political climate in Nigeria that you kill yourselves for during election. Some of you still ballot boxes. When it comes to election, some of you will vote along ethnic lines. Na Yoruba, na Igbo, na Hausa. You won't even hold these people accountable for their past deeds. Answers. Nobody was held accountable. Part of you in Team Justice rigged the election for them. Now we don't see the results. None has come to ask for justice for Mubad. Zero. Nada. Political. Nobody has come to say we want to know who ended this boy's life in his house. Nobody. May we move to religious institution where we have Christians, Muslims. I forgot to add the Isheshe Ibile when I made my submission in Olori Ebi. So let me even talk about churches, Christians and Muslims. I need answers, so make me help me. Like I said, I don't have all the answers and I don't want to get it wrong. How many general overseers in Nigeria has come out openly? I'm using the word openly has made a video, has or has gone on live to ask questions. Who killed Mubad? How did he die? If there's anybody, please put your name. And if there's nobody, put your response. How many imams, sheikhs, have come out to throw their weight behind Team Justice, behind Baba Mubad, to say we want to know who killed your Peking in Nigeria? All over the country, how many general overseers, how many sheikhs and imams, how many? If you know them, put them, apart from uh, Afan Labib, that's, that gave bus bulls to Naramali and Sam Larry, and Sam Larry. apart from Afan Labib, how many Afas, how many imams, how many sheikhs have come out openly? I'm seeing none from the response from the commenters. And some of you, you can kill yourself for your general overseer. You can kill yourself for your imam, sheikh. They don't care about you. They, are, they only care about their tithes and offerings. You become a statistic. So this is a wake-up call for you that carry your geo for head. They can't talk about him. You will come after that person like an ahena. You will come after that person with everything you have because they talk about your general overseer, because they call out your geo, because they call out your alpha or your sheikh. Hear this and no peace. If you quiet tomorrow under any questionable statistics, they won't talk about you. This is a wake up call for you to use your brain. If you are going to a church and no geo has for one day in the last seven months, even talk about Mobad on his altar to say, we want to know who killed this boy, regardless of their tribe. I'm talking about Nigeria as a whole. Ask yourself, what am I doing in this church? Does this man have a conscience? If you are still going to that mosque and your imam, your sheikh has not even talked about this issue, ask yourself, is it worth it? These are the people that hold the Bible and the Quran. They speak about love and justice. And for one day, they have never asked for justice for Mubad. Now, Titan offering, no. So far, your matter no go affect their Titan offering. You no concern them. You no concern them. Somebody is saying one pastor in Ogun State. That is fine. If you know the name, put the name there so that we can exclude him from those who kept quiet. I like that response. If you, name your, if you know the name of General Overseer, I am limiting it to General Overseers, the owners of churches. I'm limiting it to Imams, sheikhs that hold onto their mosque. If you know them, put their names so that we can salute their courage. If they have made an open video, share the video so that we can know. Videos like that of Alpha Labib.
so that can we so that we can remove them from those who kept mute in the day of trouble because this is the tale this is the day of trouble this is the day of calamity Mobad's death has shaken the core and foundation of Nigeria and the political institution is quiet the religious institution is quiet I move on to the traditional where we have the obas across the 36 states of Nigeria I'll be interested to know an oba that has spoken in favor of justice for Mobad if you know any oba if you know any emir if you know any Obi or Mazi, if you know anyone, traditional ruler, that has come out openly, please drop their name. And if there's none, let's know. So that you can begin to ask your, yourself, these Obas that we hold in high esteem, do we really need to hold them in high esteem when they can't even fight for their own citizens? They cannot even fight for the people they are ruling over in their jurisdiction. Ask yourself. Ask yourself sincere questions, my people. Ask yourself. Don't be so tribalistic and egocentric that you cannot ask yourself, has my Abba come out to speak in favor of justice for Mobad? Has my Emir come out to speak in favor of justice for Mobad? Has my OB come out to speak in favor of justice for Mobad? Ask yourself. Dig to ask yourself those questions. Have they come out? If the answer is yes, put the name of your other. And if there's no one, let me see your response. Like I said, I don't have all the answers. I need to Southwest. Let me count them all in case I miss a state. I'm coming to Southwest. How many states are in Southwest? We have Ogun State. We have Lagos State. We have Oyo State. We have Oshun State. We have Ondo State. That's five. We have AKT. That is six. Let me add Kwara, Ilori. That is seven. Kwara State. Seven, right? I don't know whether to add Kogi because Kogi na middle belt. So let me stop at that. Seven states make up the Southwest. So we have seven governors. We also have seven senators from that region. We have people from the Federal House of Representatives from that region. We have State House of Representatives. We have councillors. We have commissioners. We have those in the judiciary in those seven states. I bet make I ask you now. How many of these people have come out to throw their weights? behind Baba Mubad. How many of them have come out to support justice for Mubad? If you know any, I don't mention the kids, I don't mention Oshun. How many people have come out in favor of justice for Mubad? If you know any, drop their name. If you know any, drop your name. How many of them? I'm streamlining it to Southwest so that those, who are, those of you that are so tribalistic, you can begin to think, is it worth it? Those of you that can kill yourself or your governor, you begin to ask yourself, if I pie or any of my picking pie or any of my nation pie, will my, do will my governor come out? Ask yourself now. These are sincere questions. Now questions will they ask? So that when the election come next time, you go use your brain vote. You go use your brain cam campaign. You will hold them accountable for what they've done. We, we don't hold them accountable. Those are governors, oh. So we have seven governors that have gone silent in seven months. We have commissioners. We have senators, three from each state. So 21 senators are quiet in Southwest. We have people in the Federal House of Representatives in the Southwest. All of them quiet. No sound, no noise. And a human being, no be goto, no be anima, died in questionable circumstances in an open and short case, in a slam dunk case, none of them have come out to say what? Dead silence. The silence is so loud, you can hear it. Nobody talk. Nobody talk in Southwest. Let's move on to churches in Southwest and mosques in Southwest. And I'm going to limit it to your general overseers in Southwest. And we know that Southwest is majorly Yoruba speaking. So I'm going to limit it to churches that the general overseers are Yorubas. For the sake of time, I will just limit it to denominations that most of you can kill yourself for. I'm using my words carefully because I know that we are so, we are so religious with zero godliness in Nigeria. We are so, so religious with zero godliness. 
We are religious with zero fear of God. We feel quote scripture from here to tomorrow. We feel recite the Quran of Ed. But we are godly. We, we, we have zero godliness. Zero. So I'm going to limit it to churches in Southwest and most in Southwest. Because I'm a Christian, I'm going to call out some denominations. Redeem. Living Faith. MFM. Deeper Life. Celestial Church. Kerubu and Seraphim. Those in the Baptist. Anglican. How many of your general overseers have come out boldly to put their weight behind Baba Mobad to say we will help you get justice for your son? If any of them don't come out, I won't, hear, I won't see your comments. Maybe I overlooked it, or maybe I didn't come across the video, or maybe I didn't get the memo. How many? Redeem. Has he spoken to say yes, we will get justice for Mobad? Living faith. Has he spoken to say, yes, we want to know who killed Mobad in his house? MFM, has he spoken to say, we want to know how that boy died? Deeper Life, has he spoken that we want to know who killed this boy in his own Lekki and put him under the staircase? Re uh, I'm sorry, Celestial Church, has he spoken? Kianes, Kerubam and Seraphim, has he spoken? Those in the Baptist, can. PFN, Southwest, have they spoken? Those in Anglican, have they spoken? And you people can kill yourself for these people. And the Kutori one, one God of Soroji Oyin, and my water, Konote, Konote, Yite Yini, and my Bunyoje. So this is a wake up call for you. If you fall in the category and Nigeria happens to you, what they are doing to Mobad is what they will do to you. You become a statistic, nobody talks about you. You become a statistic. These are the people that are only concerned about your titan offering. Titan offering, you know me. I'm a Christian, so I will speak more about, about my religion. Titan offering, you know me. They can talk about it for two, three hours in a service. But none of them in the last seven months have spoken in favor of justice for Mobad. None. None of them had made a video to say we will get justice. Once, if there is a single public holiday, you will have a program on that day. There will be a revival. One of the programs, Sisha. These are people that, that preach love and justice, togetherness. And they have never put their voice together to get to say we want to know who killed Mobad in the last seven months. My people, like I said, and your heart and soul, for those of you, for those of you that are so overly religious and you have lost your brain. You can't even think that what happened to Mobad can happen to anybody. My prayer is that Nigeria will not happen to us. The religious institutions will be found wanting. They will stand for you. Your Imam will not stand for you. Your Alpha will not stand for you. Your Sheikh will not stand for you. Your Jehovah will not stand for you. And Lorini, use your brain to think. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? These are big churches in Nigeria, Southwest in particular. There's hardly a street you will pass through. You will not see three or four churches. Minimum. Boshenri Church in Wamari Moshalashi, ni street ikan. Boshenri Church in Wamari Moshalashi, Lata Gomaru, what if you're a year? Kosoru. Kosoru. But none of them has come out to speak in favor of justice for Mobad. I move on to Lagos State. And there Mobad Pai now. How many? How many? <laughs> Mobad, the, the state get governor now. Has he come out openly to say, I will do everything possible to get justice for Mobad? Has he, done, uh, has he even gone to see Baba Mobad in Ukorodu, the governor of Lagos State? Has he gone there? The three senators representing Lagos State. Have they come out to say we will do everything possible to unravel how Mobad died? Those representing Federal House of Rep of Lagos State, has any of them come out to say we want to know how Mobad died? Those in the state legislators in Lagos State, have they come out to say we want to know how Mobad died? 
those in the judiciary, state judiciary in Lagos State, have they come out to say, we want to know how Moba died? Silence, my people. Silence. Deafening silence. Loud silence. Silence everywhere in Lagos State. And you think, Bele Kwema Dirao. Now, sample be this. Now, sample they show you. We don't matter. Just like your dad said, or somebody said in the comment section, we are in a country with zero empathy. We are in a country that the leaders don't listen to their people. Religious leaders, traditional leaders, the political leaders. This is a wake up call for all of us. Ask yourself, how many homicide cases has happened under this watch of Swawolu? And how many homicide cases has he solved? How many? How many? How many? And during the last election, some of you rigged the election for these people. Some of you campaigned for these people without looking at their past antecedents just because they are Yoruba, just because Tiwani. We can see the result now. We can see the result. Will Mobad get justice? I'm positive that Mobad will get justice. And I want to speak with the Oba that his name is in the petition. I will just say, Oba, remember Pharaoh. Remember Pharaoh. Remember Pharaoh. If you don't know the story of Pharaoh, talk to the Christians that are your friends. Let them take you to the scriptures. Read about Pharaoh. <laughs> Read about Pharaoh and the plagues that befell him. Read about how God humbled Pharaoh. Pharaoh Buru. Oh, they near Yalile. I dare to the you go near Yalile and Lua Baran Yagan, who said it in your leg. Oba, what you talk about walking you, you're the ring if he. Elo, war you don't, Elo, Elo, car you don't, Pharaoh. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Mobad died in your territory. Kileshe. Mobad died in your territory. Obani yi now. Shebe la wo ijoye. E la wo si oba. E la wo tu oba. E ni balogun. E ni ashipa. Any yellow day, won't buy you so on your bar. I shan't go. I shan't want more bad. And the mom, and the mom, what you want me to be done? A bucky leche. She said, Daddy, we pay more fame more. You could talk about more bad. Did you do any video? Did you come out openly to address your subjects? Within your territory, they ended more bad's life. A bucky leche. And wo yin. Bi oba ye shu en wo yin nan ni oba orun wo yin. Ola un wo yin. Shubon. E mag bag bi oba fero. Fero. E buru to fero nan. E buru to fero. E tu mwa ti Nebuchadnezzar. E ni kan wo re yin shi baibu. Ke kastori Nebuchadnezzar. Into ju, into, into la un fi o ju e she ni o du meje. Tolong so dieron. Koto koto juba. We kwe olonu konwa. Oba ero ratele. E ti gbe arifa. Agbo kwe tu ti gbe ve ron. Olo wo nyi wambe. Ale jini o. Tori ko ni ba jeti e ti so. O ti so jade. Olo wumba nyi shishen. So ko ni ba jeti robu yin. Ole jon shishen ni. Mo de shwa kwe fwe, mo de shwa kwe video kon yi ba jati kon yi lara, oba. Petition, oru kon yi wambe. Olo gbe koru kon yi si. Yi kwe sam lari, obele, ati elele. Kwe ton bati nan wun, oru kon yi ni wanda. E ma da wun petition, oba. E da wun, e shebe ni kwe ye gbo. Ni kwa te jade gon e sa wun kwe ye mo sam lari. Bo e sa wun kwe yi kole ron ni she. E de daru kon obele. Eh, soro ni pa elele. Eh, che elele ni. Ate mot ba, 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 mot
and you never answer the petition. And that's it, baby. Run. And you think Benny Lucky at the island? The bus to Emma Diju or Tori, and you go and save. The bus to Emma Diju, Tori Mobad, you cool. Or bad, baby, I go, so anything you buy. We are one sorrow, Lola. As you ready, call bus sorrow. And so, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he will speak tomorrow. Maybe he will search his conscience and turn his ways and go the right way. Oh, oh, but you can still do right. It's not late. You can still do right. You can tell the path of justice in your local king, Sharon. We are only asking simple question. Arifa Veron, Westo, Toti the fugitive. They are only asking simple questions. The same question I am asking, the same question the panelists are asking, the same question commenters are asking, the same question millions of people across the globe are asking. And what is that question? Who killed Mobad or Rometani? Three questions over who killed Mobad? Ebaba for Muni Tele. I want Batova Leko, no, she ba Loba Leko, and Loba Nibad agree. And lo ba ni abni ani above Lagos. And lo ba la gege. And lo ba ni korodu. Esu ma ba mi da ruko anwa ba to ba wa leko. Ke pa ba wa leko. Ko si ito soro ni nu won. Ko si ito soro ni nu won. Nigerians, I'm speaking to your soul. This is the level Nigeria has degenerated to. This is where we have found ourselves. Nigeria is the, is the most populous black nation in the world. But look at where we are, a country with zero empathy from our, from our leaders. It's a wake-up call. It's sad. But I am positive we will get justice for Mobad. And I'm going to lend my voice to your daddy. Bogbo, I want to lower ni nuku Mobad. Ah, Bogbo, I want to lower ni nuku Mobad. Ati wato mo ni pa e, to sofun. Ati wato gbe a she jade, wipo e lopa. Ati wote e shishe nye, te me miye lò. Ati wote o mò, to gbe mò ba di sa lò. Bobo anything, te ba kojo a mò yin o, shubo e mò ra yin. A wò lò wà mò yin, bobo an te ba kojo, e ma gbe sini. E li eskepe, e pa o mò kapinta. E gba gbe pe jesu gò mò kapinta ni. Mò ba di is not an ordinary child. To ba mò te lè lò mò lè ni, kò yon shò mò la son. O wa shi shè to lò wun lò ni bò kò pè. O kò a di age of 26. Jesu was crucified at 33. Kini yato, 7 years lò lò wò. Mysteriously, e gbè ni wò ti gò Jesu te bò kà bè bù. A mò bè bò stabbed. Kòti of a mòda, wò of his mòda. O sò fù wò wì pè wò gò ni. So te bà mò te lè wì pè wò stab mò bè. Shè shè an gè lè mà mè ti jè kà mò. Wì pè wò gò ni. Oni o josi lo ni kon lo gun ekpa. So te ba gwe otopsi report si yi wa leko a feri stab wounds la rai. Tori ma me e ti so wik pe wang gun ni. Wang gun ni, ek ba nanti gun ni, anro ni wang ti gun ni, a shi a feri stab wun ibe. So bi wang she gun jesu, nan ni wang gun mo bad. Nigerian so man abroad, I'm speaking to your soul and mind. This is the country where you come from. There's no way you can disconnect yourself from Nigeria. You can see for yourself, politically, religiously, traditionally. We scott zero lagba. Odo lagba. Toran waton rulua. They don't care about us. I yield the mic, your daddy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Crunchy Queen. Um, <clears throat> That's <clears throat> I've always said um you're you're one of the strong voice in this justice for Mobad. That was so much respect 
and each time you come up and speak it's always um, something new uh, this whole system it is very sad the summary of what country queen said tonight is that the whole system the whole system the whole body feels this guy the whole body how i wish when this guy died all the churches came together and they were so interested and said you know what we are going to stand for this guy and all these big churches that we've mentioned all of them are saying what happened to this guy imagine the likes of the general of Asia standing up and they are going to meet a governor that we are interested in this boy what happened to him imagine where we'll have been in this case imagine the general of assist uh, uh, of Asia's that of our churches that presidents we kneel down before them. Can't look my lord bad governor. See governor come on my forward. He said, "Well, but it is sad. So 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 sad. So 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 sad. So sad. So sad. So sad. It is sad. What a country. What a country. I'm not gonna bore us tonight. <clears throat> let me get straight up to after country queen. Let me go to um." Um, who is the next person? I think Yetunde Ada. Yetunde Ada, MS, uh, MS Fisayo, Gislova, uh, the Royal Schema, Olaide, and Adiola. If, um, what's the name? If Yetunde is not there, please, MS Fisayo, kindly unmute your mic and make your contribution, please. MS Fisayo, if he's not there, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good night for those who are going to sleep. Just from justice from all bad, no retreat, no surrender. Nigeria, my country, Yoruba, my tribe. I'm embarrassed. I'm heartbroken. This is one of the saddest case um, that's ever, that's that's actually happened to Nigeria, and especially affected Nigeria. Yoruba and the world, the whole world, and also Africa as well. When I look, when I see Mobad picture, I'm sad. Like I know him, but I don't. I'm sad that this happened to Mo. That somebody or some people, a group of people, decided to take your life, take your precious life, take when you was just blossoming into a beautiful butterfly that you was meant to be and then they decided to just take you off to turn off your glorious lights i'm so i'm, I'm speechless because like um, country um country queen said nigeria is a country where it's just full of humans humans just in a country the population is, in, is is insane it's crazy nigeria is so popular we always use this term in the uk nigeria to the world nigeria is africa nigeria is just everywhere especially as you're about we're very proud but i'm not proud to be part of Ni to be part of nigeria i'm not proud to be a yoruba that this happened this is going on in our face in 5k HD, high definition. This is a murder case. Mo was unalived. Mo was embarrassed. They embarrassed this boy when he was alive, when he was dead inside, and they buried him inside a shoebox. I don't call that a coffin, I call it a shoebox. Because what did he do? Why did you take his life? What did he actually do? Who says you can 
take someone's life. I think it's due to jealousy. And they saw they saw him come in. They 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 saw the his his hard work. Everything was making sense, and they decided to cut his life. For for what? And like 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 Queen Country Queen said Country Queen said sorry, for those who knew that he was going to die, he did not protect him. He did not tell him, listen, you need to pack your bags and leave Nigeria, because it's not safe for you. But they didn't. They they stood they stood behind and they won. Um, um, succeed. The 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 the, the killers succeeded what they wanted to um what um what the plan was, and how can you kill somebody and just move on with your life? Adura, how can you as a brother? I I, I doubt you even his his blood brother. How can you wear? your brother's clothes how can you stay in his house how can you lay in his in that house and continue with life like nothing happened and Wumi, how can you move on with life how could you celebrate a birthday i already know liam is not from obad i don't care what anybody says it's not from obad it's crystal clear because I don't know who she was singing to. I don't know what she was, she was performing to because that song that Mo was that song that Mo wrote was 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 a song to to tell us what he was going through, and the so called ex girlfriend was singing it like it was it was nothing. But Mo sang wrote that song when he was in pain when they were trying to they were trying to take his life, and 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 they did. Again, Nigeria, you, in Nigeria, you guys need to wake up. You guys need to wake up. You don't need to be rich to be to be able to fight for your rights. You need to, even if you're nobody, if you don't have money, you need to be able to fight for your rights. The, the oppression has been has, has, has been for too it's been it's been going on for too long. For those who fighting for justice, and now have have now been detained, for, for what? There's no freedom of speech. They, they can't vocalize how they feel. They can't ask questions on what happened, who and or who on a live mole. What did he do? Like, what did he actually do? And who are they? Who are they who on a live dim? It's so sad. Seven people living in a house. Your breadwinner was feeding you. He was looking after you guys. You guys cannot, well, not even one can come out and say, but then again, I don't think they will because their life, they don't care. They don't care about Mubad. They don't care about him. They care about, they care about their life. They're not willing to sacrifice their life for another life. Their life is just as precious as Mubad. If, if you know life is precious, then why would you take another life? A life that you, you did not create, a life that is not yours. Why would you do, why would you do that? So I don't think they will come out because they're coward, they're scared, and they, they're nobody. Because of Mubad, we know who his mom is, his brother, his auntie, his, his so-called girlfriend. We don't even know what these people were if it wasn't for Mubad. But I'm standing for, of course, Mr. Loba, the, the best dad, a dad, the dad that a lot, a lot of us wish we had, a dad who was also a mother, even though it's hard to be both parents, okay? Unfortunately... <laughs> Yeah, let's yeah, let's give let's give a, let's give um let's give flowers to the dad who can also, you know, play both roles. It's not easy, you know, um being um being both um being, you know, a mother or being a father, it's not easy. And and his and his dad, you know, did that. He's Mo has always showed love to his dad. And again, that um that song was for his dad. He's sorry. I just wish that dad I just wish that Mo bad, you know. In, you know, in the beginning says, this, this song is my dad, dad, I'm sorry. He said it, he was, he was telling us his story of what he, he went through, what he was, what he